Oh, 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 we love the music and welcome back to another edition of the Hockey Nation live show. This is the early dealer show. Usually I'm with my host, uh, my co-host, uh, Michael DeVellano, but uh, Mike uh, um, slept too late this morning. So it's all, it's all good. We're going to have our own show today and you can follow him on his own uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Buck and Dream, and you can follow, always follow me on my YouTube channel, it's called the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today we want to talk about the day number two of the World Junior Championship, but before that we would like to uh, resume all the three games happening yesterday. Um, every day, the next couple of days, you're going to, you have a possibility to watch three games of the Junior Championship. Um, world Championship. So let's go sharing my screen with you. I'm going to uh, show to you um, what happening. We're going to re resume every game and let's start with the, the first game of the day. It was between the Slovakia and Switzerland. The final score, it was Slovakia 1 and Switzerland 0. And at, it was a really solid good game and the bully it was very good. Let's see the, the highlights of the game and let's go back after that. Opening game of the 2021 World Juniors. First time in 16 years, the tournament begins on Christmas Day, Switzerland and Slovakia, and the refs are ready to go as well. All right, boys, hey, Merry Christmas. Let's start off right, here we go. Down, hold, hold. Here we go indeed, opening period. Raymond Foust moves in, but rings it off iron, so close to opening up the scoring, and it zeroes after a period. To the second, Slovakia eyeing the opener. Mrazek takes a feed out front, but Thibaut Fadden makes the save. He had 21 saves through two periods, and it was still 0-0. To the third we go, under six minutes left. Slovakia breaks in, puck to Roman fight, and he puts it off the post and in. That is the first goal of the 2021 World Juniors, and Slovakia takes the one zip lead. Other way we go, Switzerland with the man advantage. Canox, the shot deflected, oh, what a save! Latazzi flashes the leather, an unbelievable stop to keep this one nothing. What an unbelievable wow. save by Simone Lacazzi, and it's wow. one zip. Then Lacazzi slides across and makes another big save, and Slovakia remains on top. Now, under 20 seconds left, Swiss find the equalizer, and Lakatsi makes one of his 28 saves in the game as Slovakia shuts out the Swiss to open up the World Juniors. 1-0, the final. It's an amazing game for both of them. I think uh, Switzerland, you know, in the last, you have uh, many chances, but the goalie was amazing for Slovakia. Uh, you can see the uh, final score, 1-0. Um, you know, and a, a short tournament like this, you need always to perform at the back at the, every single time. And I think uh, Slovakia surprised a little bit of Switzerland and uh, to give them a, a win of 1-0 over Switzerland. We'll see what Slovakia is going to do uh, during the next game. They're going to be uh, not today, but tomorrow again, uh, Canada. Uh, talking about the second game of the day yesterday, resumed the day number one, um, the Finland uh, play against Germany, and the final score was five to three. Let's see the summary of the game um, for the between both team, and uh, really good game uh, for the Finland. And like Michael said yesterday, um, Michael was said, you know, I think we don't we don't respect enough Finland at that tournament. We think about you know Canada, USA, Finland, and Sweden. I think Finland could have a chance to to win a medal this year. I really believe they're going to be uh, have a possibility to do that. Uh, honestly, yesterday Finland dominated the game on the shot, 45 versus 19. You can see a uh, great performance, um, both goalies. And you know, uh, first Finland scored two goals in the first period at 3:36, and then Lundell scored the first goal. Um, of, uh, for Finland this uh, this year for the tournament. Landell is a draft by the Panthers, Florida Panthers on the NHL draft 2020. Following by the prospect, uh, Reddy is first at the tournament. Uh, of course, the the star on the defenseman, Enola, have an assist on that one. 
And second period, right away at the beginning, if you think about this, this score at the end of the first and then and the beginning of the first, uh, the second period, Finland scored two goals in most in, in two minutes. And uh, it was now a uh, Fisia score. And again, Raddy have an assist on that one there. So at that moment, it was 3-0. We thought it was going to be a blowout uh, for the Finland. And then suddenly, and then space about five minutes, uh, back-to-back Germany back in the game uh, with Zube score his first goal uh, of the tournament. And then... Um, Struzel Struzel scored his first goal in the tournament also, and that was now at 3-2. And then finally, uh, maybe like 40-second later, uh, Niemela scored for Finland, and it was now 4-2. And then finally, at the on power play, Finland back again with a, a lead of a three-goal with a goal and power play by Nikkenen, his first and again, an assist of the Niemela. So after the second period, it was already 5-2 for Finland. And finally, only one goal in the third period, 8-13. Uh, Elias scored his first goal. Suzel have an assist on that one over there. So uh, final score at the end, it was 5-3. Shot on the goal, 45 uh, versus 13. Uh, you can see uh, Tim uh, Suzel have a six shot on the net. And uh, Enola have seven shots on the net. Uh, two points from uh, Nikanen and also two points for Zazel. But we can mention also Reddy have also two points for uh, for the Finland. So let's see um, the let's see the allies of the game. Germany and Finland at the World Juniors. Due to COVID-19 protocols, the Germans are undermanned. They have just 14 available skaters for this one, nine forwards and five defensemen. And it's the Finns with a good start. The captain, Anton Lundell, takes the feed and buries under four minutes into the game, and Finland opens up the scoring. 2020 third overall draft pick to the Senators, Tim Stutzla, is in the lineup for Germany. Mid-frame Stutzla passes to J.J. Paterka. He can't score after a few chances, but that was a beauty pass by Stutzla as Germany comes close to the equalizer. Now late in the frame, it's Aku Raddy who finds the puck and bangs it home for Finland as the Finns take a 2-0 lead to the intermission. To the second we go, Germany now down 3-0, but on the power play, and Samuel Dubé scores as the Germans are on the board. They trail 3-1. Then later in the period, Stutzla with the hit. Then Germany breaks out on a two-on-one. A big tournament in Finland in 16. Here's an odd man rush cross ice for Stutzla. Oh, yeah. Scores! Stutzla scores for the Germans, and they are right back in this one. They trail 3-2. But just one minute and 18 seconds later, it's Topi Nimala through a maze as he scores. Nimala, a third round draft pick of the Leafs this year, restores a two goal Finland lead. To the third, Germans down 5-2, back to Stutzla, doing it himself. Around the net he goes, then gets a shot. It is blocked, but Florian Eliash is stopped, but then puts in his own rebound. Play was made by Stutzla as he gets an assist. Eliash gets his first of the World Juniors, but Finland does take the game, and they open up the tournament with a win. 5-3, the final. Wow, an amazing game for the Finland, to be honest with you, but... During this game, you can see that this kid, Tim Suffol, uh, the third round, round overall pick in the first round, uh, this uh, NHL draft uh, last October by the Ottawa Senator. This kid is amazing. Um, I, I, he's going to be a, a really big star in NHL in the next five years. Just follow him. Speed, highlight, uh, you know, high, great hands. Uh, you see his first, his first goal tournament on the shot. Uh, one timer on his knee, and you can see uh, during the game speed he has a very skate very well, everything like that. So um, you know, I think um, he's going to be a really uh, a future star in NHL. Then the last game of the night, that's the, was the game for me of the day. Uh, it was between the Russia and the USA. Um, wow, uh, we was expect a lot from Spencer Knight to be honest with you. You know, he's a draft uh, pick by the Florida Panthers last year, uh, 13 overall. And he came for the USA uh, program development. And, you know, you have a lot of expectation for him. He was his second 
third time, second time he's in that this tournament. We we thought at some point he's going to elevate his game. We'll be ready for this game, but unfortunately, yeah, but you know, we said sometime uh, in hockey, we said you have a bad day at the office. I think that's what happening for for him yesterday. Uh, did not, you know, perform well. He got removed of the game. Uh, at the middle of the second period, and then the Golden Dove backup uh, Wolf came back, and he did not give any any goal. And then you know suddenly after almost three period great from the Russia, the uh, the struck goal at the middle of the third period until to the end, and then slowly but properly uh, USC scored two more goal, and now the game was almost like four three until they have an empty net for the Russia. At the end of the game, but um, you know, um, I think sometime you said, you know, in hockey, you said we nobody beat us today; it's we beat ourselves, and that's maybe the best way to resume what happening to USA yesterday. Uh, I think Russia is great; they are big, powerful forward. They are big one over there, but if you think about overall what USA control the puck and you know the speed, if you do that, I think. You know, sometimes you cannot to miss too much on your on your skill and talent. Like Jake Sanderson make another mistake, and I think it was at the third goal of the game. And then you have another mistake by Spencer Knight, the fourth. You know, outside his goal, and then he just tries to send the puck the puck outside of the on defensive side, and he got you know stopped by the by I think it was Safanov. And he scored almost like a empty net. So, you know, if you look about overall, I think USA hanging there with them. But at, at some point, USA have to be performed as a unit together. I think if they can play more together and, you know, they have a lot of chance, Cole, Cole Field, uh, miss a couple of opportunities. What, what what do you think about when the game was 1-1 and then a great pass of, of Brisson to uh, Brink? And, you know, empty net almost, and then he hit the side of the net. And then a few seconds later, they come back, and then Richard score. He was now 2-1. That's maybe the turnover of the game for me. Um, you know, and then Askarov in the net is amazing. Uh, maybe not always perfectly. I think he needs to control more his rebound. I think he's going to learn to do that. But Akletsik... You know, he, rem he reminds us a little bit what Dominic Asik was in the net. You know, whatsoever, lose the puck, lose the, the stick, come back in front of the net, drop your leg down. And he, he's just amazing, you know. So it's fun to see him. He's very well, great uh, to play the puck with his stick. That's another thing he does. So uh, uh, really not what us usually you see from the goalies from Russia. They are not really great with the... Controlling the puck, but him is really uh, not like them, and uh, it would be very interesting to see him in the next couple of years in the NHL. Uh, remember, he was a draft pick by the Nashville Predator uh, this year and 2020. So it was the resume of the day number one. Just give you an, again the score: Slovakia one, uh, Switzerland zero, and then you have Finland five, Germany three, and finally the last game of the night it was Russia four and USA three. So let's move on for day number two of the day. We have three more games. It starts at 2 o'clock, so about like 30 minutes from that time we are right now. The Sweden play against the Czech Republic uh, at 2 o'clock Eastern time. And then at 6 o'clock Eastern time, that's the entrance of, uh, of the Team Canada play against um, Germany. So Germany is going to play the back-to-back -back days uh, game. And then Canada will be their first game of the tournament. Uh, this is at 6 o'clock Eastern time. And finally, at 9.30, the Austria uh, that played their first game of the tournament, with, uh, again, the USA, Team USA, going to play their second game. You know, if you think about this, after uh, maybe not a great performance of the, the them yesterday, to play against Austria, maybe get them, maybe I pretty sure they're going to win. That's pretty uh, give them uh, more confidence to uh, to go to play game number three. We'd be interested in where the coach Lehman is going to go with the end the net as a gold enter between the pipes. I don't know if he's going to bring back Spencer Knight and just watch and forget what happened yesterday or give a chance to Wolf um, finish strong the after the game yesterday and give him a chance to 
to be the game number two. So it will be interesting to see that. On the flip side, Canada versus Germany. Um, you know, we know already what Canada are. Uh, stacked with, you know, great players. And uh, Levy, Levy is going to be the gold tender uh, in the net for them. Uh, Germany playing only, only with 14 players yesterday. We don't know the situation with COVID, if some of them are going to be back today or not. And then uh, this will be, I think, Canada should win that game. It will be fun to watch their uh, their superstar from Germany, number nine, uh, Tim Suffolk. And finally, at 2 o'clock today, the, you know, both teams play their first game in the tournament, Sweden against the Czech. Um, I just want to mention to you, uh, one player from the Czech uh, got suspended for one game uh, um, because of his um, game misconduct at the game prior to an exhibition game, uh, Fiaka. So he's not going to play today, but he'll be back for game number two. Um, this one, I really believe, I, I'm I'm really excited to see Sweden on this tournament. Uh, I think they have a lot of good players over there. Uh, you know, Raymond and Olds and uh, uh, Zodenstrom and as a defenseman. And um, we'll see what Sweden can be. Like, I really believe Sweden, USA, Russia are on the same boat together. I think check a little bit lower. Uh, but I expect today to win from Sweden, Canada, USA, and see what's happening. So, uh, again, thanks to be with us today. I uh, appreciate to uh, follow up. And then, like we do every single time, uh, we are going to be here every day during the tournament. Uh, we're going to have uh, uh, 30 minutes about um, the World Junior Championship. And then we're going to do another show about the NHL, if we have breaking news, so what's going on around the league. So, uh, um, like I said before, this is maybe the best hockey you can get in, ho in, in, in the world. They are the best future NHL players. And uh, I don't know, it's during time, the holidays, sometimes you don't know what to do. And with the situation with COVID, I think it's a blessing to have an opportunity to watch hockey uh, three games per day right now until the, the beginning of January. So uh, don't forget to watch the, the, the World Junior Hockey. You can watch on two ways, NHL Network for the people in USA and TSN on Canada. We thanks also at TSN uh, for the, you know, to let us a chance to bring you some advice of the game. So thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel under Hockey Nation Live Show. I wish you an amazing, great uh, day number two of the World Junior Championship. An amazing, great day, friends.